Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back so now we will discuss so uh, what we have discussed so far after the imposition of tax by the government let me clarify again it is unit tax unit quantity tax ok. So, per unit of the quantity of the commodity which is taxed certain amount of money ok that is the tax we are discussing say suppose ok usual quantity demanded quantity supplied we are measuring in the horizontal axis price in the vertical axis ok this is the demand curve this is the supply curve ok and after the imposition of the tax suppose before the imposition of the tax this was the equilibrium u was the equilibrium uh, point ok and this was o q star was the equilibrium quantity and o p star was the equilibrium price. Suppose after the imposition of the tax this is the equilibrium O Q 1 and 2 equilibrium prices one is say P 1 star or say may be P S star let us write S star and this is P C star ok. Now, we are posing a question right look uh, the price before the imposition of the tax right what customers were paying customers were paying O P star price pre tax pre tax right before the tax imposition and what uh, sellers were getting exactly the same price per unit of the commodity right. Now, after the, and, and this we told that the gap between so this distance P A star and P C star this gap this distance is basically the tax amount right say tax per unit that is the tax amount right if this say tax is rupees 3 per unit. So, this distance is basically rupees 3 look at here in the vertical axis we are measuring price no in, in the monetary terms price that much rupees per unit like that no price. So, this distance is that 3 rupee or tax amount right one thing is clear that whatever price customers were paying pre tax ok. After the tax customers are not paying exactly tax amount more ok. Exactly tax amount more means what I am telling. So, pre tax they were paying this much right. So, if this distance is the tax amount this distance is little bit less right less than that right this distance actually that is the increment in the price what customers are paying now earlier they were paying O P star amount now they are paying O P C star amount ok. That distance is less than the amount of tax what government is imposed or uh, government uh, imposed on that on the commodity right. So, the question is and look at here before the tax what seller was getting right this was uh, this pre same price sellers were getting per unit of the commodity right. After the tax sellers were getting actually that this price O P S star right. So, sellers also are not getting the exactly tax amount less ok little bit less than that. So, sellers are getting this much less buyers are paying this much more and sellers are getting this much YOLO, YOLO distance this much less after the tax. So, actually per unit what is the tax that is the tax amount that is the this distance right that is called wage, wage of the tax per unit ok the tax amount. Now, the question is government is imposing some 3 rupee or 4 rupee something some amount of tax per unit right. That tax unit or that amount of rupee actually is shared by both the party some portion customers are paying some portions uh, sellers are paying ok a fraction customers are paying a fraction sellers are paying ok. And when we are telling a fraction of wage of that tax or tax wage sellers are paying and remaining fraction cust uh, 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 customers are paying right. So, 
all those fraction that much sellers are paying, that much customers are paying, that much of what vis a vis what they were paying earlier. This is this fraction is only about the wage of the tax 3 rupee maybe 2 rupee customers are paying and 1 rupee sellers are paying in that way right. So, basically effectively if sellers pay 2 rupee of this 3 rupee tax and buyers pay, yes buyers pay say 1 rupee out of this 3 rupee tax effectively buyers are paying 1 rupee extra than the price they were paying before the tax and sellers are getting 2 rupee less than the price they were getting before the tax right that is the thing right. Now, we are asking that questions who will share what fraction of the ways that is determined by what ok you understand right say suppose let us uh, take an average diagram. Suppose demand curve is very steeper, but supply curve is very flat. Okay, this is the supply curve, this is the demand curve. Okay. Now, government imposes some certain amount of tax, say 3 rupees 3 per unit. So, suppose up before the tax, this was the equilibrium, and whatever equilibrium price, equilibrium quantity is quite easy to drop. This was the equilibrium quantity and this was the equilibrium price per unit of that quantity, right? Now, suppose after the tax, suppose this is the tax wage right that is this distance is basically the tax amount say rupees t per unit I am telling in general not 5 rupee 3 rupee like that rupees t per unit that is the tax in general ok. So, this distance must be t rupee ok. Look at here when supply curves are related uh, supply curve is uh, relatively flatter and demand curve is steeper relatively larger fraction of that t rupees tax is actually paid by the customers and relatively smaller fraction is paid by the sellers right. Alternatively, if you think that both the curves are more or less equally steep suppose this is the demand curve, this is the supply curve, this is demand curve, this is supply curve, this is the tax wage ok. Roughly sellers and buyers they are paying roughly half of the tax. Another alternative possibility is that say suppose demand curve is very flat, but supply curve is very steep ok. This is the supply curve, this is the demand curve, this is the wage of the tax right. Who is paying what look at here? Sellers are paying larger share than the buyers ok. This is the wage of the tax at T amount, this is the T right. So, we are getting a sense that who will pay what fraction of the total tax wage per unit that depends on what is the nature of the demand curve and supply curve right. More specifically flat uh, and when we are telling nature here all the three alternative diagrams what we have drawn you look at we are just changing the relative stiffness or how much one one curve is flat vis a vis the other curve like that right. And this stiffness flat all these things related to the elasticity thing relative elasticity right. So, if demand for the commodity is more elastic right then demand curve will be flatter ok. So, when demand curve is flatter like this relatively elasticity is more right that time uh, sellers will pay more because sellers uh, supply curve is much more steeper because and that is supply is much more steeper supply curve means what elasticity of supply all elasticity what we are talking about one price elasticity only here one price elasticity of demand here one price elasticity of supply only right. So, one price elasticity of supply is small ok that is why supply curve is steeper. So, as a result sellers are paying more share of the wage of the tax. So, lesson what we are getting is that depending on the corresponding elasticity factor. If corresponding elasticity corresponding means if it is the el elasticity of demand is less customer has to pay more. 
if elasticity of supply is less ok. So, seller has to pay more has to pay has to pay when we are telling has to pay more of what more of the tax wage how much the tax they will share among themselves ok. Now, let us try to understand what is the economic logic ok. So, elasticity of demand is less what are the commodities for which elasticity of demand is less that we have class we have clarified earlier the commodities which are necessary to us to the customers elastic customers will not be having much luxury to cut down their demand much even if price increases very high ok because it is it is a necessary commodity right say suppose food item say rice right rice is our basic food item suppose ok now rice price even if it increases very high right I do not have that much luxury to reduce the rice consumption to very less if under the settlement previous condition suppose not many substitute of the rice is available in the market ok. So, I will try to cut down rice consumption, but not that much because rice is an essential commodity or necessary commodity to me. So, when elasticity is less that means, customer elasticity of demand is less it means alternatively we can tell customers are less price sensitive or customers price responsiveness is very less right. If that is the case when tax is imposed price will increase right. Since customers have less price sensitivity because the commodity is a necessary commodity to them they have no choice but to consume that commodity ok. So, they cannot cut down that much commodity ok. So, as a result they will be forced to pay larger share of that tax exactly the opposite scenario when this is the case when supply curve is very steeper, but demand curve is very flatter. So, demand curve is very flatter means what customers has much more price sensitivity ok towards the price uh, of that product ok. So, if price increases little bit customer can easily cut down their product to uh, their consumption to larger extent ok. They are more price sensitive ok to that product ok. So, as a result what will happen? when due to increase of uh, due to the imposition of the tax price will increase in any case right customer will quickly adjust their behavior cut down their product. This kind of high high say absolute elasticity of demand value is greater than 1 for that commodity elastic demand we told right and those are more the luxury commodities right the goods which are luxurious to us we can because those are not uh, necessary to us we, we, we are not forced to purchase that commodity right. So, we have lot of flexibility whether to purchase or not to purchase depending on the price right. So, when after the imposition of the tax price is going to increase right we can immediately cut down larger share of our consumption ok we can we can reduce huge amount of consumption ok because it is a luxury commodity to us it is not no it is not a necessary or we are forced to consume that like that ok. So, that way so cost here since cost elasticity of demand is high right commodity is a luxury kind to the to the uh, users or to the customers right customers could uh, cut down their uh, consumption to a larger extent, but supply is very steep Sup elasticity of supply one price elasticity of supply is very less ok. Sellers uh, say suppose this kind of commodity may be a perishable commodity right yeah, sellers cannot store uh, for long this commodity if price falls right in when the tax is imposed right price will increase for the customers but seller will get less no because remaining thing will go to the um, to the uh, uh, government as tax right so so customer uh, or sellers cannot tolerate to keep that commodity idle for long or store or hold that commodity for long because it is a perishable commodity so, they are forced to sell or they are forced to accept lower price in order to avoid the wastage of the commodity right. So, that way out of this uh, group of uh, two group of agents sellers and buyers whose elasticity of demand is less they will be forced to pay larger share of the wage of the tax ok. 
Now, now let me let me discuss another thing related to this. Okay. Say, say suppose what we discuss, suppose demand curve is very steep. So, elasticity of demand this absolute value is less than 1, it is more inelastic demand curve, but supply curve is very elastic. Say, elasticity of supply uh, absolute and say absolute or it is because it is positive here we are taking absolute because it is negative, but it is positive okay. say suppose this is greater than 1 it is more elastic right. So, customers will be forced to pay the larger share of the wage of the tax suppose this is the tax this is the wage of the tax say that rupees T per unit okay. and look at here this this much actually out of that rupees t customers are paying and only this very small amount uh, sellers are paying of that tax right because elasticity of demand is very less vis a vis relatively elasticity of supply is large alternatively what we, we have already discussed that we are summarizing alternatively if say supply curve is very steep so that means elasticity of supply is less than 1 okay or not less than one very less in that way okay that depends on yeah it since it has horizontal positive intercept it is less than one only we, we have discussed that right so it is less than one but demand curve is much more flatter okay so elasticity of demand let it be say suppose greater than one more elastic okay elastic demand curve in that way we are telling so suppose this is the wage of the tax look at here out of that who is paying this much sellers are paying and only small amount customers are paying okay. and if this demand curve and supply curve are more or less equal steep kind of thing this is the wage of the tax look at here this much customers are paying this much sellers are paying roughly 50 50 percent kind of thing they are sharing right. So, we understand that when uh, commodity is necessary kind of commodity customers has to means necessary to the uh, customers uh, they have to uh, share the relatively larger fraction of the wage of the tax okay wage w e d g wage wage of the tax okay alternatively if the commodity is perishable to the producer or commodity is the perishable in nature so that producer can't store that um, for longer time okay uh, and as a result uh, elasticity of supply is uh, inelastic uh, supply curve uh, pro producer face okay they have to share relatively larger fraction of the wage of the tax that we uh, that larger message we got now when this much of tax is imposed okay this much tax this much tax okay okay let us go to the new sheet uh, we are discussing now one interesting political thing now okay price demand car supply car this is the supply car this is the demand car and suppose this is the tax ways right so that means earlier before the tax this much could be transacted in the market at say this price after the tax this much will be transacted only in the market suppose this is q star this is say suppose q 1 star o q 1 star amount of the commodity will be transacted in that market right. Due to that much transaction right this is the per unit transaction of the commodity the tax per unit transaction of the commodity government is getting. So, the question is how much tax revenue government is gaining definitely this much this area right because this is the tran transaction amount after the tax in the market and this is the tax per unit of transaction right that is the T per unit rupees T per unit right. So, definitely the area this red color area 
that is the total tax revenue government will get Gov that much money government will earn in terms of tax right by or through imposition of tax on this particular commodity right now it is uh, quite obvious in the modern political system if you see in most of the countries certain countries uh, are they are maybe autocratic kind of thing or maybe uh, semi democratic kind of thing not fully democratic but most of the countries in the world these days right uh, through some democratic democratic mechanism uh, through some election process right people who form the government they come from some political party within that that particular country right and when you are going to impose some tax you being a government okay say suppose in india okay uh, usually uh, every government in we are talking about our central government okay you usually form for 5 years right there is a general election okay and through that general election and that general election different political parties contest and through that general election uh, the parties who win and they form or the coalition they form a government in center right so all the political parties they are what is their objective not only form the government today they will be hoping to form the government tomorrow day after tomorrow like that next next 5 years next 5 years all things right and to form that that is their objective any political parties target to do, do that right as much time they can win in the election right winning the election is the major objective for any political party right now when a government today okay when we are deciding to tax a commodity right through taxation since after the tax price will increase definitely we will lose some popularity right people will be unhappy who are paying this tax okay so the people say suppose this is for say this commodity right on which this tax this this amount of tax per unit of transaction we are imposing that commodity say, say suppose cigarette ok. So, th this tax I may not be unhappy because I do not consume at all cigarette right. So, whether tax is imposed on cigarette or tax does not uh, is not imposed on cigarette I do not care right. So, there is no reason for me to be unhappy. But the people who are consumer of cigarette, they will be unhappy because because of this imposition of the tax price is going to increase, they have to pay more price, they will be unhappy right. And when this political party has to face the election right, those people are also some uh, voter no, they will also cast their vote right. So, any government because government is formed by some background political party they have to be quite aware that how much popularity they are going to lose right by imposition of the tax definitely they will lose some popularity ok. So, what is the when we are going to impose some tax as a government what is the gain side we have to in any case we have to impose the tax on some commodity because to run the government certain uh, certain expenditure is required right to meet up that expenditure we have to raise that money through taxation you know if not cigarette this commodity may be some other commodity may be some other service something like that we have to impose some tax right and wherever we are going to impose the tax consumer of that commodity or that service they will be unhappy right. So, any political party whose target is to win the election and form the government, its benefit side in any case tax they have to impose, they cannot avoid that because to run the government they have they need some money ok. Cost side they have to lose some popularity. So, obviously, if I am a rational political party my target is to lose as less popularity as possible right. So, which commodity we should target to tax? Definitely perhaps we should target that commodity where which is not necessary because uh, we are getting an impression that if the commodity which we are choosing that is necessary to the larger section of the people then more and more larger people a section of the commodity uh, society will be unhappy. We may lose lot of popularity right. So, we should target those commodities where uh, the commodity is not uh, 
necessary, right? Those commodities which are not necessary, perhaps luxurious kind of things, uh, they are we should uh, impose the tax. That kind of apparent answer we are getting, but there is a dilemma here. Okay, what's the dilemma? Dilemma is there if you impose the tax on say luxurious commodity, who will pay the tax? What is the luxurious commodity? Say yacht. Yacht. Yacht, I think many of you know, it is a, it's a luxurious boat, uh, usually very uh, rich people, they may have this kind of personal yacht, uh, say Cristiano Ronaldo, you people know, you, you people heard about that, he is a, he is a Portuguese football player, okay? very rich okay? and you, you will see that he has say maybe uh, one or two uh, personal yacht. So, this yacht usually that rich people they used to uh, uh, make party or enjoy uh, arrange party on yacht uh, maybe on the middle of the say, sea. Okay. So, now suppose government is targeting the luxurious commodities to impose the tax because that kind of impression we are getting uh, to lose or reduce the cost side of imposition of the tax. Right? Now, what will happen? So, suppose government is targeting this yacht to be taxed. Since this is a luxury commodity, okay, the consumer of this product, yacht, right, like this uh, uh, rich people, right, they can quickly switch their consumption pattern regarding that particular product which government is targeting to tax. So, what will happen if government impose high tax on yacht, okay, perhaps Cristiano Ronaldo will not purchase any yacht, okay, Cristiano Ronaldo will think to uh, I am bringing Cristiano Ronaldo for a symbolic kind of thing, that kind of the people who are the rich who have huge amount of money to spend for some luxurious kind of uh, enjoyment, right. They will quickly switch from this commodity consumption to something else, perhaps they will go for a vacation somewhere else, some other country, something like that, right, family vacation kind of thing, right. The problem is that although government is targeting this kind of commodity, okay. Once the consumer of that commodity, they stop consumption that or they reduce consumption that, they can quickly reduce that because by virtue of the nature of the commodity, it is a luxurious commodity to the commodity to the consumer, right? Who will actually face the heat of this tax? Yacht making factories, right? Where the lot of poor people, lot of working class, right? Who are getting employment in the yacht making industry? right their demand for their product will come down okay and those people will lose job so actually the burden of this tax although it is imposed on the luxurious commodity uh, and as a result since luxurious commodity has a high elasticity of demand okay its uh, demand will fall quickly much more faster than the increment in price uh, due to imposition of the tax and since demand will fall, uh, the people who are attached with the making of that product or producing of that product, they will get the actual pinch. Okay. That is the one side of the story. Another side of the story is that if this is the this is the say demand curve and suppose this is the supply curve, right? In that case, if government imposes say rupees rupees 3 per unit tax. Look at the vertical distance, this is suppose rupees 3. Okay. So, government can get because the reduction in the consumption after the imposition of the tax or reduction in the transaction, overall transaction in the market after the imposition of the tax, it will not fall that much. Although, a large number of people will get uh, get the pinch because this commodity is necessary to the society or majority uh, major member of the society. Okay, many people will get the pinch, but all of them will get less, 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 less pinch. That pinch will be distributed because it will not cut down that much. Okay, as a result, this thing government revenue will be considerable amount or considerable quantity of the revenue because government needs money. No, it is not that I am imposing or government is imposing 10 rupees tax per unit. 
only 3 rupees, but with that 3 rupees, suppose we need some amount of money we are targeting, right. Alternatively, suppose this is the demand curve, this is the supply curve, both are little bit flatter. Same 3 rupee tax, because now 3 rupee distance is this, you will see that large amount of shortfall in the transaction after the tax. Okay. So, as a result this distance 3 rupee here, here also 3 rupee, but by virtue of the thing this is this is more this distance is say this distance means this green color distance is less than this say blue color distance, because it is not falling that much it is falling larger larger extent right. So, in this particular case when government is imposing the tax on the relatively luxurious commodity amount of tax what revenue total tax revenue tax amount of money what government will get in terms of tax right that amount of money will be less here than here. Can you follow? Let me repeat why it will be less here than here because the distance vertical distance is the same amount tax unit. Earlier suppose this was the initial equilibrium before tax this is say 100 unit this was the 100 unit. Okay. Now, when government is targeting tax on a necessary commodity by virtue of the commodity is necessary to the customers the reduction in the transaction is not falling that much suppose this transaction is falling only 20 units. So, this is 80 units, but by virtue of when government alternatively imposing the tax here by virtue of the commodity being a luxurious commodity to the customers right this transaction falls much more than here. So, suppose this is 60 units 40 units it is falling. So, total tax revenue what government will get it will be 60 into 3 that much rupees in this case vis a vis in this case it is 80 into 3 that much rupees. Because after the imposition of the tax whatever the amount of transaction per unit of that transaction government will get 3 rupees. So, definitely 18 to 3 that much total money government will get as tax in this case government will get 16 to 3. So, same amount of tax you are imposing if you impose on necessary commodities you will get more tax revenue. So, that is the positive side or uh, gaining side of the imposition of the tax because the target is the revenue to get some uh, income through tax right and negative side is that you have to lose the popularity. Okay. So, government any government in any country has to make a balance. So, what is the dilemma I hope that everybody can understand. Apparently losing the popularity that point of view if we pose the question perhaps we are getting the answer that government should target luxurious commodity. If government target luxurious commodity it has two limitations one yes the people who are consuming that commodity they will quickly uh, switch the product or stop production or uh, stop consumption of that commodity. Okay. As a result people who are attached with the production of that commodity they will be um, uh, get the uh, pinch of the tax or burden of the tax they have to bear their salary or their job will be, they will be losing their job and so on. Okay. Alternatively that is the one side of the story. Another side of the story is that government will not be able to generate that much of amount of money through the tax. Here yes perhaps government will lose more popularity in the sense because lot of people are involved they are the customer of this product by virtue of the fact that product is necessary in nature to the customers. Okay. That is the one side, but other side is that government can generate more money. Okay. So, one positive side is there, one negative side is there. Okay. So, if we consider only negative side, okay, apparent answer we are getting that government should target the luxurious commodity to be taxed. If we co consider only the positive side, we are getting that government positive side means more tax revenue, how government can gain. We are getting the answer that government should target the necessary commodity. Okay. But both have the drawbacks or both have the limitations on the popularity on have the bearing 
in the possibility of the same people to form the government in the next election as well after the next election as well. Okay. So, any government has to take up balance in between. Okay. Let us stop here okay. and we will uh, discuss uh, or we will have to start the next chapter, chapter number 7 in the next class. Okay. Let us stop here today.